the holidays are over guys so i'm going to be unveiling everything i got for christmas it's going to be absolutely insane but first we have a giveaway i'm going to be giving away this quarter century cigarette a one like subscriber on the channel if you want to enter just like the video be a subscriber to the channel ring that bell so you know when i post videos and there's going to be a floating blister sometime during the video post it in the comment section down below because you guys are watching Kareem. we're going to start with some packs and blisters but at the end of the video it's going to be some insane booster boxes so you guys are going to want to watch the entire video because you're not going to want to miss this we're going to start off with some blisters i think you guys have seen some of these so we do have dual alliance i know i got a few of these before first edition dual alliance you guys know that i'm working on a blister wall of all first edition blisters before they switch to the paperback ones so we got attorney code obviously you can get access code talker which should have been a um starlight around here crazy that they didn't do that we have clash of rebellion this is really really rare it's getting pretty rare this is like 22 plus dollar just for one blister which is insane booster boxes are going for upwards of nine hundred dollars for the first edition so that's pretty crazy dark illusions they kind of like went down now you can get these for like maybe 180 to 200 for a booster box but you really can't find the blisters like anywhere you might see one or two on like an auction on ebay but really hard to find dark saviors uh, shout out to gg vision for giving me some of these blisters this one's super hard to find Bl uh, booster boxes are like 200 to 300 dollars man and dark saviors has sky strikers um has fur hires that are played in runic so really really fun set really cool and some of them, some of the cards in there are worth a little bit we have cross souls i can find this in european more than i can find this in north american it's really crazy but this is a yeah north american print one really hard to find this one like a north american style really cool but of course i want to get the arc v sets because they still have the ghosts and the ulties really love this for my wall and last one we have is Destiny Soldiers. Now, I hear a lot of people say they have not seen this set. And they're like, when did this set come out? And it's really crazy. I, I think this one and there's another one. I think the Wing Raiders. The, also, people are like, when did that set come out? So really cool to get these. I can find these also in uh, European more than North American. They're really crazy, but we got more. I got 12 for now. Blisters of first edition, Battle of Chaos. I'm going to do a giant video, so I'm definitely going to get some more. I want to pull the 25th anniversary Dark Magician out of a blister, so I'm going to be getting a bunch of blisters, and we're going to keep going. I might do this live until we pull it, and I really want to pull it because I want to pull like a super high rarity card out of a blister, so that's going to be insane. We have a couple of first edition Raging Battle. You guys know you can get these in the 10s. They do have first edition booster boxes. The first like four sets of 5Ds, they did not make booster boxes available to the public. And you can just get them in the 10s. You can get these in the 10s. They have booster boxes for like $1,000. Maybe you can get them for like 800 for one. And um, the blisters are like maybe 80 to 100 as well. But really, really rare. Five these packs are definitely gonna open these probably on a Sunday or something. So that's gonna be insane. Speaking of rare, I don't know if I can fit this on the camera, but I have 50 packs of a very, very special set. Shout out to Moyuki on Instagram. First edition Galactic Overlord. I can't even fit this on the camera. I gotta like push this back here. It's insane. 50 blisters, man. You guys know I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. It's my favorite era of Yu-Gi-Oh! So I'm collecting a lot of Zexal stuff. It's hard to collect and open this set like because it's a lot of money to do both. But I try and do both and I'm probably gonna open some loose pack versions of these in uh, one of my uh, vintage Sunday videos. But beautiful blister, man. First edition Galactic Overlord. Absolutely insane. Getting some Galaxy Eyes monsters. You guys know the Galaxy Eyes chase, but that's gonna be crazy. So stay tuned for a video of like the loose packs for that one. Next, we have Tournament Pack 5 or OTS 5. A beautiful, beautiful tournament pack set. You guys know I love opening tournament packs. I like to see what stuff came out during that time and what they like made ulties to like help the meta and like the tournaments and stuff. But this has Ghost Bell or a Ghost Ogre, Ultimate Rare, Ghost Ogre, and Terraforming beautiful beautiful ultimate rares and also has absolute zero as a common that's actually insane like this will be crazy hopefully you can pull something like that even some super rares are worth something in there and we also have torrent pack six this one just has invocation that's the only one i'm really interested in but an ultimate rare invocation will look so nice so i would love to try and pull that one but you guys know i love opening different torrent packs so i always try and get some when i see a good deal on them and i can't even fit this on the camera i have this huge real good deals uh, mystery box i'm going to be doing a video on it's going to be its own video because it should have like a booster box 
a bunch of packs like 30 maybe some blisters it's gonna be insane so stay tuned for this one real good deals of really good mystery boxes and this is like their highest tier so stay tuned for that now to get into the spicy stuff guys i have an order of chaos this is a open booster box i think it has 19 packs shout out to moyuki i bought this a really good deal uh, this is probably going to be our vintage video for Sunday. Some first edition order of cash. You guys know I love Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel. I am doing master sets for all Zexel sets. I'm almost done with Judgment of the Light. But yeah, I guess I might start Order of Chaos next. So it's such a beautiful, beautiful set. It has ninjas in it. Of course, it has a Utopia variant in it. So that's going to be really fun to open this Sunday. Next, we have an insane rare Dimension of Chaos first edition. This is rare. One, because it also has like black luster support, has a red, uh, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend as the Ghost Rare, which is beautiful. But this is also the last set that they did Ghost Rares for before they switched to the, um, the Legendary Duel set. So really cool piece of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. So I had to get one of these and it was a really good price because you only see these now for like 400 plus dollars. So if you get one under that, then I would grab one because this is, will probably continue to uh, occur in price just because it's like really cool. And of course, the last Ghost Red set. So yeah, I would definitely grab one if you guys can. But it's actually beautiful car, uh, beautiful box. And I'm probably gonna open one. I might get another one to open if I can find one for a good price. So stay tuned for that as well. Next, we have this Brothers of Legend box. Absolutely beautiful. But inside are first edition Rise of Destiny. Yes, I got some more. And this one is gonna be for a box break, guys. I, I think there are like a couple people interested. So I'm gonna do a box pick for these. These are the same ones I got last time. So you guys know I pulled like eight foils and an ulti out of the last ones. And these are like the European variant. So you can pull a hobby or retail. And I last time I pulled a hobby ulti. So that would be insane. So this is gonna be a box break. I will announce this at some point. Next, we are going European. You guys know I finished the North American uh, collection of my booster boxes for Zexel. So now I'm trying to collect all the European ones. So this is the European Legacy of the Valiant. Not one of the most popular Zexel sets, and it has like uh, one of the Monarchs as the Ghost Rare. So yeah, not really that popular, but it's still cool to me, of course. I love Legacy of the Valiant, also has some like Shark variant support. Really beautiful box, and you can see all the uh, European boxes are a little bit thicker than the North American ones, as you can like kind of see just from looking next to these ones. It's a, it's a little bit bigger, still has 24 packs, so just European like print cards is a little bit thicker, so that makes the box thicker. So, really, really cool, absolutely beautiful box. And this is the last most insane present that I got. This is an unlimited European Crossroads of Chaos box. So yeah, as you guys can see, uh, they switched to European packaging when they switched to Zexel. So the five Ds one do not have the Konami logo on them, as you can see, like to see the difference. It's really cool. A lot of people think that these are like repackaged or something, but they just did not use a Konami logo and it's a different kind of like packaging, but it's still legit. And this is insane. This might be my 1000 subscriber special. So this would be insane getting a European Ghost Rare uh, Black Girls Dragon. It'd be absolutely crazy. Really, really cool. It's a higher premium on uh, European like boxes and stuff just because they're a lot harder to find but this will be insane to open so yeah stay tuned for that as well guys and that's gonna do it for my video guys i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what your favorite piece of mail was in this video make sure you guys enter the giveaway post what blister you saw floating during the video in the comments section down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time this is creed i'm out